Yo guys, what is going on? And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to edit properly the correct way in DaVinci Resolve. You see, I've seen so many people doing tutorials in DaVinci Resolve and they just aren't editing the way that you should be editing in DaVinci Resolve. Now, at the end of the day, everything is a preference, but there's always a faster way that you could be using DaVinci Resolve. Now, as we all know it, DaVinci Resolve is a new and upcoming software and it is also very fairly popular just as in recent years. But if you guys wanna know how to edit like a pro from A to Z, Z formula. I am actually hosting a free class that is going to be completely live. So go join it in the link in the description. It is going to be a free class. I'm going to show you A to Z, how to become a pro and from a beginner to a pro. So you're not going to want to miss out on this live event. It is going to be the 20th of November. But without further ado, we are going to hop into DaVinci Resolve. So there are so many different ways that you can edit in this software. Now, honestly, most of this stuff is going to be a preference, but I'm gonna show you guys so many different ways that you need to be using to implement in DaVinci Resolve and you need to be utilizing mainly. So the first thing you need to be utilizing is this thing called Power Bins. Power Bins is probably one of the most efficient things that you could be using in DaVinci Resolve. So basically, if you go ahead and go to the three lines and press Show Power Bins, make sure it's checkmarked, you will have this Power Bin option enabled. And if you double click in the Power Bin and click New Bin, whatever asset you put within that bin is going to come up in every single project that you ever create. So say you create a new project for the next year. These assets are always gonna be in every single project file that you ever open. And why this is so good is because you don't have to keep going to your SSD or going to your desktop and finding these assets over and over and over again. Now I know it's just such a tiny, tiny option and a tiny thing to do, but over time you're going to be saving hours and hours on end. So another thing that you wanna have open is kinda of get used and familiar with the, the UI. So. Having the effects page open is definitely something you should look into doing because if you have the effects page open, you're obviously going to be limited to down here. So if I eliminate my media and my effects, then obviously you can see we have a bigger time frame here. But if we add these both on, we're able to access these assets within a split of a second. So now we don't have to go up and toggle these on. Once again, I know it's a small thing, but if you get used to all your assets being down here and right here, then your life is going to change and you're going to be able to work on a smaller time frame, which sometimes you will need to expand it, which is okay to do so. But for the majority of the time, it is okay. And you should be getting used to having those effects and the media pool toggled on. So another thing that you need to be doing is when you take in a footage. So for example, we have this clip right here of my friend boxing. So let's just say you don't know how to get this back to normal. So, you know, you go to the normal way you go to file, you go to change project settings, right? No, there are shortcuts that you are going to use. So if you just simply hit shift nine on your keyboard, it'll bring up the options for you. And instead of changing these manually, you can go ahead and hit use vertical resolution and then go hit save. And then that way, now you have it ready to post on short form content, which actually brings me into my next phase which is literally shortcuts. In order to find shortcuts, you're gonna to wanna to navigate to DaVinci Resolve and go to keyboard customization. Now this is going to bring up everything that you need, but essentially all that I have keyboard customized is the simple cut button. So if you look over here on the slash button right here, as you can see on the keyboard, that's what mine looks like. Um, that is what cuts my clip. So slash, and then if I simply find this clip where I don't like it, so say I don't like this blurry clip, I'm gonna hit slash. In this clip that I don't want, I'm gonna hit shift and delete, and it's going to ripple delete my footage back to normal. Now guys, these are all such simple and small tricks, but they are going to make your editing time efficiently faster. Now, another thing is going to be in the color tab. So let's just say that you want to save a color grade, but you don't know how to. So this is very common if you film similar videos very frequently, and, and it's just the same color grade over and over again. Once again, we wanna save time and edit properly. So in order to do so, we're gonna navigate over to the clip. So make sure this clip selection. So make sure the gallery is selected and make sure your power grades are open and say you want to keep this color grade. All you're simply gonna do is double click and hit grab stills. Now it is going to show up in these power grades, but let's just say you wanna keep it just in the project. You're gonna head over to stills and then double click and hit grab still. So the stills is for only in this project that you're working in alone. A power grade will carry on within every single project similar to the power bins. Now within the fusion page, I know guys, this is a very scary thing, which if you do end up joining the webinar, we are going to go over in depth on the fusion page. So you're not gonna wanna miss that link in the description. But in order to pull up effects very fast and efficiently, 
you're gonna wanna hit shift space. This is going to bring up your select a toolbar. So in order to do this, then you're gonna search for your set text. So let's just say you wanna do glow. Then we're gonna add glow to this and then boom, you know? So that is something very simple as well, but it is just the process of editing properly. So let's say you have a glow right here and you don't know how to attach it and you don't wanna unlink this, link it back and then link it back. That takes too much time, right? Once again, small tips. You're gonna simply just hold this and hold shift and let go. And as soon as you do that, it is now on to your timeline within the Fusion page. But guys, I hope that basically helped you on how to edit properly and mainly edit faster in DaVinci Resolve because these tips right here have single-handedly saved me hours on client work and just work in general because of these simple tricks that I've learned over the last years of editing. But guys, it is similar to the webinar. If you want to skip the hassle of learning all these video editing tricks, then go hit the link. It is a completely free class. All you need to do is sign up and show up to the call and you will be learning how to go from a beginner editor to a pro editor. And this can be for all level video editors can join this call. So you're not gonna wanna miss it and I will see you guys in the next video.